Hi, I'm Pat Lee. How's it going, everyone? And uh, I'm a designer and just wanted to say hello to everyone in Holland. I'm from uh, Toronto, Canada, but my parents are originally from uh, China and Hong Kong. So um, my background is very Asia-oriented. <laughs> well, I have some Superman pieces here, and um, I did some Bat Batman Bad Blood covers for DC Comics. Um, yeah, this is a piece that I did a long time ago for uh, Transformers and G.I. Joe. I started doing a lot of uh, comic book illustrations when I was young. And from there, I just started um, building interest in, in comics and collecting comics. And then from collecting comics, it turned into, you know, drawing, you know, cartoons and, and so forth in school. And from there, I just wanted to, I just knew exactly what I wanted to do, which was, you know, draw comics for a living. Brian Singer, uh, while he's doing X-Men um, in Toronto. He's really into comics too, so we had a lot of things in common. Um, like about two years later, um, uh, Brian had interest in me doing some Superman stuff for them, for their movie, and I started to do some development work. I've dabbled into music videos, feature film, comic books, um, acrylics, oils, all kinds of things. And uh, my specialty is really design and illustration. But taking my specialty and then adapting my knowledge and skill set into other artists is, I think, um, is, I think different. But this, is, um, this is the city that, um, a city that never sleeps and, never, and, and is always constantly raining. And it's, um, so we imagine in this world, it just never stops. Raining, um, and it's symbolism in this painting because if you flip it, it's pretty much the same thing. It's still the same city. I collaborated with these um, uh, two other artists in in Hong Kong, and we created this project called Orias. And it's a black and white book. It's very, um, it's very, it's pretty dark, and it deals with um, this uh, extraterrestrial race called the Gray. For the comic book work, um, you know, there's a lot of artists and different artists involved. You know, um, we work with several different digital colorists, and there's different inkers, and we all work as a, a team to, you know, to create the image. We're hoping to create this in, uh, in the near future as a, um, you know, as a, as a kind of like a unique Japanese anime story, um, you know, for, for feature or for television. Well, every culture has a, has a very unique style or a unique direction of, 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 wor of artwork and perception. And, um, and I think it's very interesting, especially when you know, Japanese anime came to, to the U.S., that really changed a lot of things for, for the U.S. in terms of comics, movies, um, books, everything. So um, I want to take some of that, how do you say, influences and some of the design work that I've done, um, some of the experiences that I've been through, and then bring that back to Hong Kong and see if I can make a difference.